What's on? Oh. Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So today, I wanted to talk about a specific topic that's been on my mind for a while, and that is um, the discussion of what is okay in art. Or, I guess, artistically tasteful nudity. Like, what falls under that category and what doesn't. So, um... First off, I think that I'm very desensitized to just new people in art just because I've been taking um, art classes at my college and we have new girls in all the time. So I'm pretty much always drawing naked people. So <laughs> I've come at, kind of become very desensitized for it, to it. Um, the first couple of times you go about doing it, it can feel uncomfortable, but once you get used to it, it stops feeling uncomfortable early. Um, seeing someone naked in a different context than art, though, is a bit different, but <laughs> anyways, um, so what's okay to show in art? I honestly think you could show someone full in the nude, honestly. Um, I think as long as it's tasteful nudity, yeah, it's okay to have someone in the nude. Um, like Renaissance Sans Art, um, The Birth of Venus, that is a very um, famous piece of art. It's by Botticelli. Um, it's a picture of the red-haired lady standing in the clamshell. Um, that is a very good example of this. Um, as long as you're doing it with taste, like, there's nothing dirty about that piece. It's very innocent. Um, but on the other hand, if you're drawing too much hentai, um, that's <laughs> where it crosses the line. Once you start adding in, like, very, I guess, sexual elements to it, it starts becoming not artistically nude. So if you just want to draw a lady not wearing a top, that's one thing, but <laughs> if you want to go farther than that, that's another thing. Um, I just know there are a lot of people, especially on DeviantArt and stuff, that get very touchy whenever anybody draws someone without a top on and then posts it without a mature tag. Honestly, I don't think we should be that scared of the human body. <laughs> um, it's great. It can be quite a beautiful thing in art, and if it's used right, it can be very beautiful. So I think instead of like fearing the nude body, we should try and embrace it more. Um, Honestly, I think it's better sometimes to use nude mod models rather than clothes, clothes models. Um, there's actually a couple of sites online that'll give you randomized nude models um, for drawing purposes and references, and those are actually amazing. Um, I think I found it through Doodle Date. Um, I think that's who I got it from. But, um, yeah, since the human body is such an integral thing to what most people draw, and when you're learning to draw anatomy, that is the best thing to learn at, like, learn how to draw it, um, I think we as artists shouldn't be so uptight and scared about nudity. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, in this picture in particular, I didn't know whether I wanted to just have her bare it all, <laughs> or if I wanted to cover it up a bit. I ended up covering her up a bit, and in the end, if you see that, I kind of just put bubbles over the little nips, because apparently that's better. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really see how it is, but oh well, <laughs> I'm fine with it. Um, and uh, since I didn't mention this in the beginning, this is part two of my art trade with Icy Snowflakes. 
underscore Dayo on BDNR, and she's also on YouTube. So check her out if you want to. Um, you can see my characters. Um, she drew my character Estelle, which you've seen before, and my character Safi Safrolo, which if you were, you were on my premiere, you may have seen him. But yeah, I think that's all I really have to talk about today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you really liked it. I hope you did. <laughs> leave a comment. Um, tell me what you like. Um, sorry if there was any loud clicking. I ate. My guinea pig, Daphne, she has been drinking so loud all of today. <laughs> so if you hear any loud metal clanging noises in the background, that's, that's my guinea pig drinking. Um, sorry. <laughs> A little tangent there, but yeah. Um, if you really want to see um, updates of my my work in the future, click that subscribe button. Click the little notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload. I'll be uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and occasionally on Sundays. So keep your eyes peeled if I do. Um, I'll try and let you know if I have any. Uh, new art supply Sundays planned. I really hope to get back on to doing those soon. I still have to redo my pink gum erasers because I kind of lost my video for that with my last computer, which was forever ago. So I should, I really should do another one of those. And I got a special little eraser that I want to add to my little eraser collection of videos. So yeah. That, that's coming in the future. I hope to get them done soon. If I say it and I upload it, you can hold me accountable. <laughs> okay, anyways, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Bye!